Greetings everyone, the Goods Tonight here with today's pro 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 pro, pro tip. So, you've got a pair of sword ends. Well, perhaps you might have a pair of sword ends. Imagine with me, if you will, you have a pair of sword ends, and you've got a Mitch styled helmet. So these earpieces, and lack of a front clippy like in the Protex, makes you it might make you believe that it's incompatible with each other. However, the Mitch was designed specifically for use with headsets. Well, particularly the little single piece you know, go watch uh go watch Battle Over Los Angeles. Anyway, well the story is you take the helmet. And your trick here is to keep your boom mic facing upwards initially, because that needs to go through here. So you set the helmet in place. As long as you get the boom mic through, the rest of it will go swimmingly. So I now have my boom mic through. I've adjusted the straps. So these come over the ears, and now you're thinking, well, what about this little piece here? All you got to do is feed this connector through the rest of the earpiece. And boom, it is now in place. Finish by buckling the strap, lowering the boom mic, and as you can see, there is no uh, interference from the sides here. Boom mic and plug out of the way. This goes into your little... Uh, what's it called? Your push to talk, PP, PPT, and your set. So that's how you attach a boom mic to your headset. Also, don't forget to take out the center top padding and any padding you might have on the sides. They'll get in the way of the sword ends. That's all there is to it. You can wear sword ends with a Mitch. It's not just that little earpiece with the cover or anything. So you can pretty much mix and match anything you need as long as it's got ear covers. And there you go. Active ear protection with a Mitch. It's doable, folks. Cheers. That is your pro 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 tip.